My name is Scott, and I am not a maker. Not like these people. These people are makers. Look at them, being all talented and designing, building, crafting, art, doing. When they have ideas, they don't just stay awake all night thinking about them. They turn them into real life things that you can see, hear, touch, hold in your hand. But I'm nothing like them. I mean, I'm creative, I think. I have ideas, but I'm not talented. And I'm old, it's, it's not like I'm gonna suddenly become a carpenter one day. The closest thing I've ever got to building anything is putting a PC together. I can't make stuff, or can I? Over the past year or so, I've noticed more and more 3D printers showing up in makers' videos. And 3D printing looks attainable. Like making, but with trainer wheels. And if there's one thing I love, it's a low barrier to entry. So I got this guy, an Ender 3 V2 Neo, the most recommended budget entry level printer on the market. I mean, it was until the day I set this up when its successor was announced, which is of course way better and cheaper for some reason, but what this Ender 3 lacks in, you know, fancy features and speed and reliability, it makes up for with a passionate community of printers and modders all posting heaps of advice and support. Something I'm in desperate need of. Like this guy, Just Vlad, posted this setup video in such detail that only a complete idiot would mess it up. Okay, okay, so here's what happened. I was leveling the bed and I basically turned this knob here the wrong way for a very long time, meaning I was pushing this metal plate up into this nozzle here, meaning that the nozzle just jammed into the plate and just gouged a big hole out of it. Then later on, when I was setting the Z offset, I basically did the same thing. I had the bed too close to the nozzle and instead of printing out a nice first layer, I basically just scraped the nozzle all the way along the bed, causing this like watermark on the bed that came out in all my early prints. And that was just the first day of owning it. If I went through every time I wanted to tear my hair out whilst trying to set up, calibrate or upgrade this printer, we'd be here all week. But I eventually figured it out. So, I got to printing. And I printed a lot of stuff. I printed tools, toys, printer mods, of course. I printed some useful stuff, but I also printed a lot of not so useful stuff. But with everything I printed, I learned something. I learned about layer height, different material, stringing, retraction, zits, e-steps, calibration. But if I want to be a maker, then printing just isn't enough. I knew I needed to learn how to design. So I downloaded Fusion 360, found a YouTube tutorial and designed and printed this. It's a, uh, it's a bin, uh, I guess. Uh, it's, it's not very good. Honestly, I didn't even like it when I printed it. It took ages. And design is a strong word for a cylinder with a whatever that thing is on the bottom of it. So I bailed on Fusion 360. It was just too hard to learn. I'd seen online that Onshape was probably easier. So I signed into Onshape, found myself another YouTube tutorial, and I designed and printed this. It's a, it's a, well, it holds our toothbrushes, kind of. It's also not very good. It's barely better than the bit of paper it replaced, but I kind of liked it. And I felt like I was improving. So I did more tutorials and I, I kept at it. Then this, changed everything. This little guy is a part that I modeled in Onshape to replace a missing part in these wire strippers we have. I just copied the counterpart from the other side, made a few guesses, measured it up, and printed it out. And it fit perfectly, first go. So I just added these little ridges in to make it grip the wire better, and it worked. I fixed it. I fixed a tool, and not just with like duct tape or something, 
I modeled and made this part from scratch. This little bit of plastic showed me that I can do this. I can make stuff. So I kept going. I designed and made a bunch of other stuff, like this very specific number plate mount, a fix for a vintage drill from the 50s, which is wild, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm super excited to share with you. I've got a link to those models as well as my little wire stripper fix in the description. And if you've just started getting into making or 3D printing, and if you've designed something, put it on printables or Thingiverse and post a link to that in the comments. I'd love to see them. But if you are interested in where my maker journey is going, then why don't you subscribe and follow me. My name is Scott and I'm a maker. Well, 